Greetings mga yamis! Welcome back once again sa ating The Director's Note. And today, bibisitahin natin ang pelikulang The Adam Project directed by Sean Levy. I'm Ricky, let's get started. Sean Levy is an actor, director, and producer from Canada. And some of his work ay ang Free Guy, some episodes ng Stranger Things, at saka Real Steel. What I like about him is yung manner ng storytelling. Fast-paced. Hindi siya nag-i-spoon feed. The man from the future, napunta sa present time, as we know it, and then so on and so forth. Bibigyan ko kayo ng five acting moments that I can say na that made the movie interesting to watch. Let's begin. Oh my gosh. Parang technical moments. Okay. Pag inobserbahan mo kasi yung buong eksena, ito ay eksena ni Young Adam. Ang ginawa ni Jennifer Garner, Get over here! Get over here! Finavor niya yung mukha ni Young Adam sa camera. Technical. And it looks natural. It comes with experience. Pwedeng directorial din kasi kitang kita sa movement. Ito yung choice to favor the Young Adam. Kasi hindi siya nakikipag-compete sa younger actor. Trained, experienced actors will do that. We got you. Yes. Ay, yung moment na nagmi-mirror si Ryan Reynolds at si Mark Ruffalo. You need to make a funny jet. So basically, magtatay sila, but hindi sila magkamukha. They of the same age, they're contemporaries. Yung walk na to, nagmi-mirror sila. I think they made a deliberate choice. Not the same, the same walk, but makikita mo yung semblance. Napakita nila na they are connected. A simple walking, maliit na detail, pero ang laki ng effect niya doon sa character development. It's a clear indication na hindi pinalagpas ng, ng mga actors yung ganong kaliit na detalye. Some moments, may pareho silang bitaw ng mga words and that's interesting. So, it's very unexpected, breaking the routine, but pasok siya sa character ni Mark Ruffalo. If you will observe yung character ni Mark Ruffalo, ayaw niya magpatalo. It's more of, ah, alam ko to, alam ko to kasi ganito, ganyan. It's a clear revelation of the character ni Mark Ruffalo. Yung pagganti niya, pasok dun sa character niya na gagawin niya kasi nga siya yung character na ayaw magpatalo. My, my need to be best, to be first, to be the smartest guy in the room. Ang sarap kasing umarde pag ganun yung writing. And at the same time, meron kang director na nakakaintindi ng work ng actor. At mabubuo na yung character. Ikaw din bilang actor, hindi ko mahihirapan how to really fill in kung ano yung mga bits and pieces ng character. Kung gagawa ka ng acting choice, make sure na nandun sa loob ng script. Ang next scene, number three. Adam, stop it! Please! I know you came for me. Do it once, do it maximum. Kapag ang moment, umpisa pa lang, nagngangangaw-ngaw ka na. Pagdating ng moment na importante, wala na siyang wait. Wala na siyang dating. Wala na siyang wawa. Hindi na siya nag-work. Yung kay Zoe Saldana, few scenes lang ang meron siya. So sa una, feeling mo, parang OA. Magtatanong ka, eventually, bakit ganun na lang yung emotional investment? yung character doon sa scene. Kung, kung wala kang idea, mabubushit ka sa... Yuck na yuck to. Parang ang OA. Adam, stop it! Please! I know you came for me. Eventually, marireveal na sa ending na lang natin siya uli makikita. In acting, in anything that will happen sa character mode, you must earn it. Earn it. Kung mamamatay ka, you have to earn it. Kung magfe-fail ka, you have to earn it. Kasi yung mga good writing, makikita mo bakit ganun ang nangyari. Si Zoe, worthy siya ng death. Adam, stop it! Please! I know you came for me. Na-earn niya yung death. And as an actor, yun na lang yung moment na masya-showcase mo yung character. It's either gusto ka naming mamatay or ayaw ka naming mamatay. Adam, stop it! Please! I know you came for me. It's a deliberate choice. Pasok ba sa character? I think pasok sa character. Nagwo-work naman eh. Nasa moment naman. It's a clear indication na trained yung actor because it's very strategic. Hoy, note yun. Always think of kung ano yung pinaka. Then go there. Laging go for the higher state. Stop it! Please! I know you came for me. It's either you kill or you die. So go! Wala siyang in-between. Yung I'm sorry scene ni Mark Ruffalo together with young and old Adam. I haven't been there for you. And I'm sorry. But I saw you 
being born, I want you to take your first breath. It's a beautiful moment. It's a beautiful scene. It's hindi siya pilit. Actors trusting the text. Well written. That's why yung actors, like doing Shakespeare, trust the text. Kapag naiintindihan mo, it will flow. It will be there. You will be there. You will be in the moment. Going back to the scene, it's not OA, it's not push, and it seems like it's just happening. It's a, it's a very good example. Actors na hindi nagahabol ng effect. Ang effect ay hindi ginagawang objective. For example, sa scene na to, iiyak ako. Dapat dito sa scene na to, magalit ako. That's not the objective. Again, ang effect ay hindi ginagawang objective. Of course, makaka-experience ka ng mga directors na ganun yung hinihingi sa inyo because directors will ask for effect. But bilang actor, you really you have to think paano ka napunta doon sa moment na yun. You, you, you really have to understand the scene. And then you will see both actors are trusting each other. Walang one is better than the other. Walang nagpupush ng kanilang agenda. When I say agenda, yung moment na dapat mas magaling ako dito sa isa. Ay, dapat ma-showcase ma dito na kaya ko palang sumigaw. Ay, dapat ma-showcase dito na may iba pala akong kaya pang gawin. They're just trusting the moment as it happens. Kakaroon ng culmination, yung buong nangyari sa buong movie towards that scene. They are very present and hindi sila nagsasalita from memory. Meaning, pinagdaanan nung dalawang aktor yung mga sinasabi nilang line. I-discuss natin yan ng talking about being present and talking from memory versus talking from experience. Very soon. How'd you get to be so smart? How'd you get to be so dumb? And finally, yung rich scene. For me, this is the most beautiful scene where nandito yung thesis ng buong Pelikula. Very clear yung structure nung material niya. Lalo na yung line na I think it's easier to be angry than it is to be sad. It's good, beautiful scene. It's a working scene. And you will really understand the whole concept of the movie. I really don't know kung anong ginawa nila dun sa bata. Ang husay din ang setup ng director. Kung paano niya na-prep yung bata. Nakaka-amaze. For sure, magaling ang acting coach niya. The most important thing, batang ako, naiintindihan niya yung eksena. Naiintindihan niya yung lines. The moment na hindi naiintindihan ng aktor ang sinasabi niya, makikita. Hindi mo siya madadaya. And you are looking for an effect, makikita kasi siya. Kung hindi siya nanggagaling from experience, this is a good, good scene. Pa-clear kasi na yun yung pinaka-importante scene and it has to be good. Nakakatalino. At nakaka-inspire. Quite clear for me. It's very directorial kung how the scene went. Old Adam, ang interpretation niya ay huwag istorbo yun si Mark Ruffalo. Tatay niya. Yung interpretation naman ng bata ay binili yun para magkaroon sila ng time together kahit maikli, kahit pagod. Pero nakikita mo din kung paano nagtatravel yung bola. Nakikita nung bata, nakikita natin sa mata nung bata kung paano yun na-capture nung ni Sean Levy. I really don't know. Kailangan ko siya makausap. Ito yung clear na thesis ng buong movie. Clear. On point. And that scene is a culmination nung, nung buong thesis ng film. And it should be on point. Kung gagawa ka ng thesis, it should be on point. Imagine ito yung philosophy philosophy kasi nung buong eksena. Now, what if, when we look back, ba, naididikit natin ang ating mga interpretasyon sa mga pangyayari as you grow older. No fanfare. They're just sitting there. Just the text, trusting the text. It's beautifully written. It's the heart of the music. And it's very, very intelligently done. I think it's easier to be angry than it is to be sad. And I guess, when I get older, I forget that there's a difference. And that's it. That's The Adam Project. And if you have comments or questions, please do send me a message or comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm Ricky. Ito po ang The Director's Note. And see you on the next one.